I think, I think that's. I think the Epi actually does do like extra damage because of it. I, I, I'm wondering about it now. Oh, you know what I just noticed when uh when an in inkling's like on a mission, the little uh the little parts of of their hair like in the back or at least her hair in the back, mm -hmm. it'll, cause each part of her hair is also like a tentacle essentially. Yeah, yeah. So they like bounce. Now it's only with the female inkling. The male obviously has his hair tentacles at, like in a bun or whatever, so you don't see it bounce like that. But I think the bun might bounce too. But anyway, enough about you know hair physics and all so that enough stuff. Enough about this. Guava is so far kind of. He's, he's, he's moving right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Pretty good. Oh, and there oh, go. there's the jab. That is a, that is a uh, light, I don't know, like a hot purple Greninja now? It's, it's, yeah, basically. Like, it's not pink. I'll tell you that much. It it's definitely close. is purple. You're talking about just the ink. I yeah, like good, oh my. good use of a splat grenade or a splat bomb. Oh, and there's the up air. Not enough for the booyah percentage, though. Oh, that nair. That was a really good nair. Oh, the back air. Splat bomb gets the oh coverage out. Oh my goodness, is that gonna do it? Nope. Nope, not, not yet. Oh, and you just hear the faint whisper of Greninja, Greninja. I nice like forward smash. Not enough to kill though. <laughs> I'm so glad Inklings are in this game. Oh yeah, dude. They're, they're, that. Oh my goodness, the scoop up. Oh, wham. Hit him with the blaster, bro. Is that one of those? Uh yeah. Oh nice. Let's see. It's Splatter shot. I can't remember the bucket's called though. The uh, splat bucket. I don't know, dude. Probably, <laughs> probably something like that. I mean, it, it, Splatoon has such interesting, has such an interesting arsenal too. Like catching that grab out of the spot. The, does, though. the paintbrush. The <laughs> like the roller. Oh, oh man. Yo, Shadow Steve. I'll say, yo, he <laughs> snuck up on that stock right there. Oh my word. Cease with the puns. The puns are mine. That's my territory. <laughs> Oh, but oh, I say you're at 124 yeah, fully inked. Yeah, it, it's, this is terrifying. Look at that, that that backer. Jesus, almost at 24, 20 percent. All right. Now that he's pretty much losing the ink on him, he doesn't have a. He's not taking damage. He does have the um, knockback modifier. Yeah, that debuff. Ooh, gotta be careful, with it, man. This is really scary game that uh, Tony's playing. Oh, back the back throw. Yep, yeah. that's gonna take it. Really good pummels out from uh, from Abadongo. Racking up the damage that way he can actually guarantee that back throw will kill. And the there we go. Nice jab. Just get that ink on him. Yeah, to uh, Tony Guava's holding his own really well though. Oh, uh, I was about to say that's a bit too telegraphed. Abadongo saw the uh, shadow underneath. Oh, down to dash attack, but not able to get anything after the dash attack. So, oh. Nair. Oh, oh my God, goodness. He didn't get the sweet spot he wanted, oh, though. Ouchies. But he gets the forwarder, at least to get him off stage. I like it. Yeah, inkling recovery, not free, but definitely very easy for you to get back. So, Oh, missing the tech, though, getting punished by the down smash. And wow. I don't even know what, I couldn't even see what happened. I, I literally didn't even see what I, he went with. I was about to say, well, it was probably a forwarder. They were in the magnifying guess. glass, and I just couldn't see. It was probably maybe a forwarder, but I, I don't, I honestly don't know that. Angle is really high. See, what if he just like, what if he went all the way down there just to hit him with up air? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, this boof, this. It's whomp. like, now nah, we're not done yet. Like, nah, you get I back there, dude. I'm trying to get a clip here. <laughs> Jeez. Man, man, yeah, really good, really good game one right there. Very high. Very, very, yes. Inkling Greninja is really interesting match of the watch. <laughs> yeah, so. Game two. Going back to Pokemon Stadium? Yep. No, yeah. no, never mind. FD. But yep, yep. I mean FD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I gotta start paying more attention to what they're picking for their uh, Same for here, stages. Honestly. Stage first, man. It, it kind of messes with me a little bit. I forget. I forget what, what, what comes first, the stage or the character. And it's definitely the stage in, in terms of the game. So it is kind of weird. Oh, and bounces off, but still. Oh man. Hello. Okay, oh, good tech. amazing tag there. What? <laughs> I like it. Just, just neutral B, bro. Hey, when in doubt, do it. Because you might, if he's not shielding him, you might catch him and do a bit of damage and get all the ink out. So he's why still, not? He's still got a decent amount of ink, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's he's like, what, like nice. halfway now. I'm trying to look at both the me both the meter and uh, like the back. Oh, yeah, he's got a little under half now. And he's about to run out. 
but still. Oh, multi jabs. And he gets right back to stage. Oh my oh, goodness, wow. bro. He, he got nicked a little bit. He got nicked just. Just a little bit. Just on, a little on the bit for that. But that ink dude. brush, yo, that ink brush be hitting, bro. It be hitting kind of different. Not gonna lie. Oh, up air. Black bomb trying to set something up, but uh, wasn't able to get it. Tony's a little slippery. No pun intended. He is a frog. Yeah, you, 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 you can say the puns, but I can't. Okay. Yeah, I, that's what I said, dude. It's my domain. I didn't even mean for that pun to come out. <laughs> anyway. All right, the back air sent something up. Oh, oh. what? <laughs> Not quite gonna kill him though. That is I'm, actually, I'm just surprised that Guava made it back. I mean, it, it's like Jay goes a deceptively long way. Clearly. Back up with the ledge jump, just there. Nice oh, getting right back to stage and getting that forest smash off. So Tony Guava in not that bad of a position right now. If he can get uh, some damage going and get something happening, but oh, uh, he is kind of in a rough spot now. 119, like just oh no. I try oh, to go for no. the boot, yeah, just barely missed. All right, down tilt. I'm about it. I think Abba was going doubt. for a down or a back throw. I'll Maybe. Ledge. Hey, when in doubt, just hit him. <laughs> oh no. Back air is coming out. So I wonder if that actually. Because water gets rid of the ink. I, yeah, look at it. It's gone already. I wonder if Nair actually can help get rid of ink. Oh, because he does kind of wash it off, right? Oh. oh. I mean, oh, there's that back there. He might back have been looking for gonna take it. All right, so, hey, the trade on the grab. Nice, nice pressure from Abadango there. Oh yeah, really good pressure coming out from him. Oh, this might be the start of a little bit of a something. There we go, nice up airs. Can he oh, land? Oh, and he landed. All right, so Abadango landing for there. Trying to, <laughs> trying to cheese him with that. Uh, yeah, DLB. I guess trying to just. Nice, catch like, him not grabbing legend floating him away or something but or causing a drift away but anyway oh, oh my the goodness smash. the down smash covering that not catching oh, it that time yeah i didn't quite get it that time so but at 30 percent you know oh, good. No. oh he's, he's getting comboed now yeah, he's having a little bit of a rough time now. oh and Nabadango's definitely feeling himself with that down tilt. Only gets the first hit off. I'm surprised the second one didn't come out. I guess he expected a roll nice in. Nice forward air? Okay. Yeah, he, I think Nabadango might have expected a roll in there because he started rolling in the opposite direction and Tony would just, he just did normal get up. takes it. And there we go, last. Okay. All right, oh, there's that quick she was 34% for. right there. Shout out to Tipper, or was it? Shout out yeah. to Sweet Spots. All right, you hear North Carolina uh, cheering for the boy. Oh, no. That was and a really go the blast. To that was a really really good uh, directional air dodge back to be able to land and just get the punish out. So, yeah. So Abadango advancing to oh geez, very very strong showing, very strong showing. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's go, Justin. So we're about to see another okay, inkling so in a row. Another inkling. Yeah, this time it's Jay Breeze. He plays the light blue inkling color. That is uh, the actually about this about yeah. this color actually. No, no. Once, once you guys see, once you guys see uh, Jay Breeze, he's gonna play the inkling that looks like him. There's something weird with my shirt going on. I'm actually, okay, yeah, he's still wearing his glasses. And he's got the snapback on too. He's about it. Yeah, shouts, he's the man of his craft. Shouts to the Lakers. This man got so happy. <laughs> this man got the ESPN notification on his phone. Just, yo, we got AD. Yeah, Anthony oh, about it. Dude. dude. The Lakers might not be trash anymore. <laughs> Jeez. If they somehow manage to screw up with Anthony Davis and LeBron James, just, just, just cancel it. Just drop that entire organization. It's done. Honestly, just have the Lakers absorb Golden State, and you're good. No, just have the Clippers absorb everything. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I like Clippers. Have everybody just moved to the Clippers. <laughs> anyway, uh, ooh, we have a uh, big boss sitting in the background over there. Yeah, man, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I can't see him on camera, but. Just know he's big. He's there. He's a big boy. He's, he's big, and he is in charge, because he is big boss. All right, so. Yeah. So, Sue versus Jay Breeze. Yeah. Game one. Oh, and Sue's going Lucario. All, All right. right.
I guess they're just kind of maybe doing a button check. I was say, or is he, <laughs> oh, is they, is he actually going Lucario? Yeah, I think they're just doing a button check right now. But yeah, man, it's awesome. I guess he sucked on his own J Breeze here. Played against Japan's Sue. J Breeze, a now Clemson graduate, I believe. Yeah, he is. He, yeah, he graduated. So Clemson this graduate, summer. Charleston native. So he's represented the hometown here and uh, the home state. The home state. Go Baritones. He also plays Baritone in Market Band. No, I thought he was a sax. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he thought that. <laughs> I'm like, nah, that dude, he carries himself like a baritone 